Today we're here in Sarasota, Florida. Gonna be messing around and seeing a whole bunch of roadside stuff. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. I am here in Sarasota, Florida today. We're gonna be taking a closer look at a few roadside places, a really cool restaurant where Elvis ate at, and all kinds of fun stuff. And you guys are gonna get to tag along with me now. Let's take a closer look. Right off of Washington Street here in Sarasota, we're gonna be eating at a place called The Waffle Stop. And there's a really cool backstory to this place. And you can see here some remnants of Elvis Presley, some photographs, and the sign for the restaurant. On the window there, you can see it says Elvis Presley ate here. Pretty excited. Now February 21st, 1956, Elvis Presley was touring Florida. This was about the height of Elvis's career. Big tour Elvis was doing. 1956 was kind of his breakout year. And look at that, I actually have that doll, the teen idol Elvis doll. But February 21st, 1956, Elvis Presley stopped in here and he ordered Three pieces of bacon, three eggs, two orders of toast, pan-fried potatoes, and three glasses of milk. A breakfast so good it was fit for a king. And according to their website, they have not changed the way this place looks on the inside. We're gonna go inside and see what kind of menu items they have. A lot of them are themed to Elvis, so I'm excited. As an Elvis fan, you guys know I'm a huge Elvis fan. And I'm ready to go in and see what I can eat. See if we can take care of business inside Waffle Stop. Let's go inside. Look at this. Wow. Wow, look at this menu. By the way, they're cash only, so they do have an ATM available if you're coming. But look at the Elvis photos here. Amazing, and you guys can see some of the stuff they have. You can get the eggs and potatoes and toast just like Elvis did. Elvis is in the building, I think I'm gonna do that. Three eggs, bacon, and potatoes and toast. That's what Elvis got, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Why not? They do have some sandwiches here, the hunka hunka burger, hard-headed woman. The all shook up omelet. See, I told you. A lot of things dedicated to the king here, which is why we came to eat here. Showing some of the memorabilia they have here. Some photographs. Look at that little newspaper article here. Everything Elvis. Can't get enough of it. Oh, and this is what it looked like in the early 50s. So yeah, it really has not changed. Look at that. Wow. And here it is. Toast, butter, and three sunny side up eggs. Bacon, potatoes, just like Elvis ordered here in 1956. Can't believe it. To imagine him and Scotty Moore and Bill Black pulling in and grabbing some breakfast. All right, I'm gonna dig in. This looks pretty delicious. Yeah, see right here. Ate three eggs, three pieces of bacon, two orders of toast, pan fried potatoes, and three glasses of milk. I did the same except for three glasses of milk. I have a lot of this merchandise as Elvis too in my collection. It's kind of cool to see it out and about. And I picked up a souvenir mug. Take home. Pretty cool, right? By the way, the meal was fantastic. If you're into breakfast, stop here in Sarasota. That was delicious. Service was great. Friendly people, I love it. All right, we're moving on. Check that out, got some boats out here. Big bridge and some hotels. 
Sarasota is pretty. Stopped off here at the marina because there's a statue down here that I wanted to, to film. A lot of people take photos in front of this, this statue down here. In fact, I was down here with my friends Promise and Travis, pre-wedding stuff for them, and we stopped off here. And I was like, I'm gonna come back one day and film this, and here it is. This is a famous portrait called the Unconditional Surrender. And this sculpture prompts viewers to never forget the greatest generation or the day when they demonstrated their unity, August 14th, 1945 and in World War II. I don't think you guys understand the size of this statue. Here, let me show you. Now this statue was created here in 2006 by Seward Johnson. The detail on this is pretty fantastic. I mean, it's unbelievable. Even like her hair has, you know, each individual strand is like painted and everything. And same with his hair. A lot of airbrush techniques. This is my hand against uh, the pants. It's pretty, pretty big. Pretty large statues. And it's surrounded by all these little pontoon boats and yachts and some locals. Marina Jack in Sarasota, Florida. All right, onward to our next destination. This is one of the cr cruises they have you can take. Give you guys just a little view of the little waterfront here at the marina. We were just driving over there a minute ago. Alright, I think I'm gonna head over to another destination now. Alright, well it looks like a, a boathouse is actually a real functioning house. Look at this lighthouse here and a boat. And there's a little story behind this. John Ringling, his boat captain, built this in 1930s. His wife wanted to live on dry land, but he wanted to live on a boat. So they compromised and built a, a boathouse. See the house right back over here, resembling a boat. And then a little lighthouse here. I'm sure there's bedrooms in here and front door is right there. How amazing is that? Some ringling history. Pretty Florida. I'm sure somebody occupies this house now, but it's been here since the 30s. Hear those birds and nothing but the birds. And I was just gonna film it from the road, but I found a place to park. So I'm gonna walk over here and see if we can get a closer look. This is like the backyard area. There's like a little seating area here. In the back side of the house and the lighthouse here. There's a little plaque. I'm gonna walk up and see if I can see the. Yeah, this is called the Boathouse and the Lighthouse. We're built in 1933 for Captain Arthur Rowe by shipbuilder Oliver Blackburn. So that's right there on the pat on the little uh, plaque. And this is the front of the house here. Got the bags here for protection from the storm. It's pretty through here, but none of the other houses look like this. Let's see if I can show a little more of this this boathouse. I'm just gonna kind of like throw you in park if you lived here. So I'm not gonna step past this. Just be respectful. But it's like a little porch area here and the way it curves it's very interesting that window is like on a curve it's another porch area actually 
Then there's windows down on the lower deck of the house. How cool is that? I wonder what it looks like on the inside. There's a nice little fountain here. And you can see more on the side of this lighthouse. I thought it was just this part, but it actually goes back some, so. I wonder if there's like little nooks and little rooms in there. You never know. Doesn't look like anybody's home. I see a hammock right up through there. And these birds are singing a song, man. So two totally separate houses, the lighthouse and the boathouse. I love it. I love things like this. So cool. Glad I found that here today in Sarasota. We're gonna continue on. Let's go to the next spot. And we started the day with Elvis, and I'm gonna end the day with something related to Elvis. Making my way through another subdivision here. Looks like they had a lot of uh, damage from the hurricane. Man, it's crazy. Turn right onto Windermere Place. All right. Turn right. Gotta take right up here on Windermere Place. Yeah, this is a little uh, tiny road here. Turn right onto Windermere Place. Okay. Then arrive at your destination. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be up here on the right. Oh yeah, straight ahead. I can see the king of rock and roll and some gates that look like Graceland. So I'm just gonna pull up here. See what I can show you guys. Look at this. Got Elvis here at the front and the gates. Just like the ones in uh, Memphis at Graceland. And even Elvis on the driveway there. It says Jim Reese. That's a, he's an Elvis uh, entertainer. He's an Elvis tribute artist, so I guess this is his house. Did not know that. The other gate here. Pretty cool. Look at that, Graceland South. And there's a sign for it, straight ahead. Graceland South. Isn't that cool? It's got a portrait of Graceland on the front. That's awesome. Very cool. I respect this. <laughs> I'm a huge Elvis fan. Look at that, another Elvis there. On the driveway. Not gonna go any further than the mailbox because I don't want to disrupt anybody. But this is great. I love it. Here's a side view of the, the camper there. See, Jim Reese, Music Express, Elvis Tribute. And then the other trailer here says Elvis. Pretty cool. Fun filled day finding Elvis stuff. Well, I'm gonna end the video here. This was a lot of fun. Abby and I drove into town today just to pick up some furniture we bought actually from some mid-century modern furniture from this lady and uh, we decided to make a little video here while I was out here. So, ending it here, the Graceland South. But we came, we saw, we took care of business in Sarasota, Florida today. And it is time to say goodbye, but I will see you guys on the next adventure. Hopefully we can get out and see some more roadside oddities and stuff in Florida. I love doing these videos. Today was completely random. Pick these things out on the way here. And I'm glad I got to show you guys. But I will see you on the next adventure. Until then, Stay weird. Goodbye.